All right, so we're still on day two, soon to be day three. Oh, wait, I'm not in war anymore? What has just happened? Huh? Oh, did I send him a trade deal for peace and he accepted it? Trade offer accepted from the People's Republic of... Seriously? He came online, accepted the offer. Well, thank you for the resources. So we've got China who has accepted my trade offer. Not only that, he's not the only one. If I scroll down, you can see Federal Republic of Germany has done the same. And then if I scroll even more down, you're gonna see that also Australia has accepted all my trade offers. It's amazing. Okay, but that means that we have got peace. So I should declare war again, I guess. In normal games, I would say this is not good for my popularity. But in this game, it doesn't really matter because I'm already at war with all the AI. So there we go. Perfect. Let's continue to have fun, I guess. At target, we're gonna see what's over here. Let's move this one a bit closer. I fire each 15 minutes, so I shouldn't march for, for 30. That's not a good idea. Up 18, that's better. All right. And I've been uh, very, very lucky because we have the United States who have attacked me over here. You can see it. The units are very damaged. Uh, luckily, I had the peace of mind of producing here an anti-tank unit, which probably has saved me. And also here I made an anti-tank unit. Not only that, but I've made two infantry on top of it. I've actually had a peace of mind to build a bunker here and also a barracks and to put a couple of infantry units in the queue. This has saved me because I've been able to reach my capital in time in Maraturi to kill those units. Whew, that was a close call indeed. However, I've been attacked over here by Corpse Kraken. No idea why he attacked me, I guess because we were in war, but I didn't attack him, man. Not cool. Anyway, I attacked him here, I guess. Yeah, it's Corpse Kraken as well. That must be the reason. So I'm training an infantry here in Tirnanog because I don't want to lose this city. I don't want to lose any city. I've invested way too much in them. I'm upgrading them all to level three industry now. My economy is gonna start kicking in pretty soon. I've taken three capitals, so that's amazing as well. I took here Fort Lincoln to Fort May headquarters, and then of course here Dark Citadel. So now I basically, I just need to wrap this up. There are two heavily damaged armored cars right here that probably are coming for me now. I think so, but well, I will see. I'm upgrading troops and I should move in range of this capital i don't know if i already gave trade embargo let's check that i did so that's good i am good to also take this capital that will be capital number four i'm on a streak here it's amazing why can't all games be like this the us was very angry at me of course he didn't expect me to attack he hoped to have a friendly relations which is impossible because it's a solo game and so he was very angry and he counterattacked in well the most stupid fashion but i guess that is his problem and my gain so yeah everything is going as planned let me show you my economy but it's basically the same everywhere i've got everywhere level three industry building why are they not building here oh yeah because i was repairing my bunker so also here now i should make a level three industry there you go mate build 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 and after that i need to upgrade my ordnance i'm gonna already put that in the queue i also need to upgrade my air factory so that i can do as well um build well that's actually produced but it doesn't matter ordnance foundry level two there you go in the line and then here i want an air factory level two there you go perfect i'm already researching a tactical bombers and interceptors level two it's gonna be great we are day three now and finally my thousand subscribers game has 
ended. I'm very happy because it was dragged down by a gold using alliance and so I used up all my gold but from now on for people who had doubts that I was using gold in this game I haven't and from now on the gold will only go up with my daily gold rewards right so that's it and then i can totally focus on this game for now on which is good it's two times speed and i like my sleep i am mopping up the rest of the remaining uh, provinces from our dear friend people's republic of china who has spread out his units on illogical locations which is good for me i didn't have to kill them and as soon as i'm gonna take the last province these units they're gonna be deleted from the game and i think i can do it right now and just jump start Whoppa! they're deleted life on screen how beautiful is that i'm also upgrading my units you know what let me just show you my army i've been upgrading my units because well that's the biggest advantage for allies players I have 11 artillery that I need to upgrade, 5 more infantry that I need to upgrade, I've got 2 anti-air, 2 anti-tank, 15 infantry level 2, 7 armored cars, got armored car research level 2 going on, and then finally 3 level 2 interceptors. It might not seem impressive to you right now, but it's kind of a very good army for an allies doctrine only thing that's lacking is tactical bombers but well what can i say manpower well i have 524 manpower and now producing an hour so as soon as i'm done upgrading those units i'm gonna be on a streak to get those tactical bombers in the air i've been expanding very very rapidly so i need to consolidate a bit I am building industry here in this XAI province because it gives a crazy amount of resources. Even with 69 morale, this province gives 3055 rare resources. I mean, that's amazing. If I compare that to my city, 8600 on 100% morale with a level 3 industry. I mean, this is crazy things. And then here, check this out. Morale 54 already is producing 7,144 food. If I compare this with my core province, level 3 industry, right? I mean, what the heck? These provinces, they're gonna be a gold mine. All right, so that's one nation off the map. I've been struggling here with the remaining two tags for hours, but finally in 14 seconds, it's gonna be gone. I'm gonna be able to finish off the rest of the United States. It's been dragging on. I want to wrap this up. I want to kill the USA. Let's consolidate, babe. And even now he's lagging. All right, there we go. It's gone, finally. It costed me a lot of health, but at least he survived. That's the most important. All right, and then also here we've got the marches set for the last provinces. Also this one, I think I can jumpstart here. Let's go back. Um, perfect all right that is now two players officially out of the game as you can see i am heading here towards this over here i'm gonna build my second resource powerhouse just like i've got over here which is good because while well, both Mexico, Great Britain and Canada look to be inactive, I hope they are. Because if they're only appearing inactive, I might get in trouble later on. We've got Peru who has taken care here of the lab. I don't like this for one bit because I could be next and that's not a good thing, right? So I want to keep tabs on that one. Let's see what's happening over there. He's going to be definitely wary about me. I mean, look at my territory look on the map i mean look at ireland what is that so big looks like the only contestant for now is sweden right let's see his stats who is this guy or girl i mean kind of be a woman too i'm not sexist high level player 142 oh these are very interesting stats all right 
I've got a good contestant for the win. Let's see who will win. 160 games played, 23 wins. Kill that ratio of 2.93, that's really good. Province retainment of 2.63, yeah, all right. Very interesting, let's go. All right, so I have a visual here on the Peruvian troops in the secret lab. He has three armored cars, three infantry. Nothing to worry about, but if he attacks, he can harm me a lot. So I'm doing the only sensible thing there is to do. I'm moving my units so I want two infantry here and I want two anti-tank over here and then I'm gonna leave one infantry in my capital and in Chu Chaolin then at least I'm gonna be a bit safer I'm also sending back my armored cars for now and then I'm already gonna add target for this one too so that he can heal up nicely by merging with the others oh something's not good set here must be my armored cars let's do it again Perfect, there we go. I'm also gonna send these units back. It's better to be careful than to be surprised. There we are. I'm gonna have now in each of my cities two units. And over here on the border, I'm gonna have four. Because in my knowledge, Peru at this point is the only active player on my border. At least that's what I think, but I'm gonna find out tomorrow, I guess, at day four. Well, not tomorrow, it'll actually be this evening because, well, it's two times speed, so in four hours, 30 minutes, I'm gonna know who is AI. I hope this map doesn't go too inactive because I wanna have fun. 